Hey everyone, it is Friday, and you know what that means here on this channel, Classic Tabletop RPG Friday. Getting back into our Classic Traveler RPG series. Thank you for coming back, for those of you who are still here, and if this is your first time coming to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am your servant, and this is RPG Elite. This is the place, folks, where I focus like this with laser precision on putting the RP back in the RPG. How I do that is by giving you, viewer, tools, tips, tutorials, real talk about the tabletop RPG space and culture and all so that you can have more immersive and enjoyable tabletop RPG experience. Hey, if you are enjoying this series and you don't have Traveler and you're like, you know, I think I'm interested in getting that, down in the description below, there's a whole lot of links for you to go get some Classic Traveler, the Classic Starter Set, which is the set that we are using for this, by the way. This is the Classic Traveler Starter Set. Same thing as Classic Traveler, but there's a couple different things in that one. But it's almost identical, folks. Like 95%, not more. So if you are interested in getting Traveler, go on down, click on one of the links down below. It goes to help out the channel so I can continue to do what I do here, which is to bring you all of your tabletop RPG goody content. All right, let's get into the video. And on the other side, got the question of the vid for you. So let's roll them. The main area is where all of the other rooms of the ship go. It's an empty hull on the inside. Now, I have 125 tons left from the last video because remember, the drives took up 25 tons. The bridge must set aside 2% of the ship's tonnage with a minimum of 20 tons to basic ship controls, communications, sensors, scanners, etc. This does not include the ship's computer, that's separate. We're gonna get to that next. The cost for the bridge is 0.5 mega credits or 500,000 credits per 100 tons. So for the 150 ton Phineas, it's going to cost 725,000 credits. Now 2% of 150 tons is three tons, but since the minimum for the bridge has to be 20, that's what we're gonna go with for the Phineas. The computer section of the bridge is more than likely a separate area or entire room. A computer has a specific model number found on the computer's table. The model number is important because it corresponds to the jump capability that computer can handle normally. There is an exception. Each computer comes with a software package equal to the model number in mega credits at no additional cost. A Model 2 computer has a mega credit software package included that's worth two mega credit. That means if I want that jump to capability, I need at minimum a Model 2 computer. So that is what I'm gonna go with. This will cost me nine mega credits and will take up two tons of space. You will have to read what each of the programs do and we're not gonna get into that today and we'll only get into just a couple of the programs just to give you a taste when we get to computers in this series. The BIS designation is an improved version of the model number. It is treated as the next higher level for jump support, but the next lower level for software package inclusion. For the Phineas software package, it comes with a Maneuver Evade 2 program because that is two mega credits. I also want Jump 2, Navigate, and Generate. The cost for all of those is 1.5 mega credit. I will go over what each of these programs do when we cover computers. Living quarters for the crew and passengers are called staterooms. Each stateroom is sufficient for one person, displaces four tons, and costs 500,000 credits. Sometimes you can double up occupancy in a room, but that's the maximum due to life support strain. Commercial ships have to have one stateroom per crew member. I'm adding six staterooms to the Phineas, 
and that's going to displace 24 tons and going to cost three mega credits. Low passage berths, or what I like to call tube sleep accommodations, can carry one passenger, displaces half a ton, and costs 50,000 credits per tube. They provide suspended animation for the entire trip. There are also emergency low passage berths, which cost 100,000 credits and displaces one ton. They hold up to four people and are exclusively used for survival. Again, emergency situation. Now the Phineas is going to have 10 low passage berths, which displaces five tons of total space and is going to cost a grand total of 500,000 credits. Now this one is self-explanatory. It's how big your fuel tank is. Now the good news, it doesn't cost a credit. Nada, Nathan. However, you have to do a little math figure out how big the tank needs to be at minimum when you have jump capability. So the equation to figure that out is this. M equals the tonnage of the ship. That's the main area. JN is the ship's jump number, if applicable. PN is the ship's power plant rating. So 10 PN is going to last a ship for four weeks. Well, 0.1 MJN will allow for one jump. So in the case of the Phineas, 0.1, which is 10% actually, of M, which is 150, is 15. JN is two, so that's gonna equal 30. So that's how much fuel is burned up on a jump two. Remember that, that's jump two. 10 PN equals 20. So that is how much fuel the power plant needs for a month. So I need for the Phineas a minimum of a 50 ton tank. If the Phineas doesn't perform a jump, well, he can last two months without refueling if all it will do is interplanetary travel. If he performs only jump one, he can perform another without refueling because it only burns half of the fuel. Good news, there is no cost for the cargo hold. So I decide to equip the Phineas with a 20 ton hold. I know that's not much, but the Phineas is a different kind of ship that will be kind of utilitarian. It's going to be able to do a little bit of everything. You can add a hard point to your ship to add a turret to each. The hard points take no tonnage, but each turret needs one ton for fire control. You do not have to use hard points, but can save them for when you want to add weapons later. Each hard point is 100,000 credits. Now, this is where I'm going to get a little jiggy with. The Phineas has three hard points. I've allocated three tons of space for them, though I will have two weapons to start, or that's the plan. Maybe one. I don't know. I might change my mind. That's for the future when I decide to take extra crew for dangerous missions. Yeah, this is starting to add up. I haven't done my full tally yet because I'm kind of scared. <laughs> this is an expensive ship, but this is just for example purposes so you guys will know. And, you know, maybe someday the Javelin will be out there, baby. Phineas will be doing his thing. Know what I mean? Hey, if you got any value out of this video today, could you do me a solid? Could you just crush the like button for me? And also, if you want to stick around, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Question of the vid today is this. What's your favorite starship? Either one that you have created or one from a television program or movie or something. What is your favorite? that simple y'all go ahead let me know let's get some engagement going down in the comments that'll be it for me y'all know what it is it's time to do my snaggle puss so exit. if you've got a game this weekend happy gaming i hope it's an rpg elite session as always y'all hope it goes fantastic for you so until next time god willing y'all know what time it is peace 5,000 leets, I'm out.